everyone today I'm back with another monthly favorites video for you and I have been really enjoying some new launches and I also been picking up some new skincare and some new makeup and I thought I'd share with you guys in today's video so I'm going to kick things off with some new skincare I've been really enjoying and the first thing I've been um, really enjoying is a new cleansing oil it's from Shu Amuru and it's the Blanc Chroma brightening and polishing gentle cleansing oil now I am a cleansing oil girl. I love using cleansing oils in the evening to remove my makeup. Um, I think they work far better than micellar water and also like makeup wipes as well. And they give you a deeper cleanse as well. And this one from Shoe in particular has been my favourite. And I heard Ray from the Ravey we talk about this before. And I thought I'd pick it up because we got quite similar skin. And this is the brightening and polishing version. And it just gives your skin a really nice radiant um glow and I've just been using it a little over two weeks maybe three weeks now and I used a teeny teeny tiny bit um so I used about two pumps in the evening to remove all my makeup and I just massage it all over my face and then just rinse it off with water and it just emulsifies to a really nice um milky texture and it just melts off all my makeup as well so I've just really been enjoying this from Shu and if you guys seen any of my skincare videos before then you know that I'm a huge SK2 fan. I've got the cleansing oil um, but I definitely prefer this one as well which is a bold statement for me. But I think this one works a little bit different and the texture um, of the two oils as well is a little different as well. So yeah overall I've really been enjoying this and I would definitely recommend picking this one up. So this is from Shu. Next skincare favourite I want to chat to you guys about is a new cleanser I've been using. This is from Creme de la Mer and it's the cleansing lotion and I've been using this as a morning cleanse and I take about three to four pumps of this and massage it all over my face and then I just rinse it off with a hot cloth or sometimes I use it with my Clarisonic and it just works really really well too and it just leaves my skin feeling really soft as well and I've been using Creme de la Mer products for about maybe two or three years now. I use it on and off and and it's definitely a skincare brand I always go back to and I think it's definitely changed my skin as well so I really like this cleansing lotion from Creme de la Mer another skincare favourite I've been really enjoying this is a new moisturiser from a body shop and it's the vitamin C glow boosting moisturiser for dull, tired and grumpy skin now in the morning sometimes I feel like I wake up and my skin is feeling a little sallow or looking a little dull um, I've been using this for the past um, two three weeks or so and it's just been really really great and it's got a really light gel texture as well so it sinks into your skin really really quickly and it injects a really nice boost of radiance as well to your skin and the good thing about it is it smells like oranges as well so which is my favourite favourite scent and it just smells like summer and it's definitely a really lightweight moisturiser to use in the spring summer months as well because you don't want to be applying anything too heavy on your skin and this is definitely a really great, um, good option um, for a summer moisturiser so this is from the body shop a body care moisturiser I've been really enjoying this month has been from Bath & Body Works and it's the Love & Sunshine um, Ultra Shea Body Cream. Now I picked this up when I was in New York uh, maybe about two months ago now and it, this is part of the signature collection and it's got sun-kissed strawberries, daisies, um, lemon and honeysuckle and sunshine musk as well. So this is probably not everyone's favourite because it's quite a sweet sickly scent but to me this just smells like spring summertime and it's really really fresh it's really really nice and i just been enjoying this um using it in the evening and it definitely lingers on my skin as well so you can still smell it in your bed sheets as well and i just think this has been a really nice springtime scent for me to use and i love the ultra shea range in general from the bath and body works because i find it really moisturizing and I would definitely recommend picking this one up from Bath & Body Works. So this is the Love & Sunshine uh, version. Moving on to some makeup I've really been enjoying. And um, I've been really using this blusher pretty much on an everyday basis. And it's from Clinique. And it's the Sculptinary Cheek Contouring Palette in number one, Defining Nectars. And it's just got this like tree colour... Um, so you can mix it in um, with a brush or you can use like each individual colour to get free blushes and what I tend to do is just grab a big fluffy brush and just apply this all over and it just gives my cheeks a really really healthy glow and i just really been enjoying it and it's definitely been one of my favourites as well and I never really try anything Clinique um, so this is definitely like a debut um, Clinique makeup product I've really been enjoying and I just really like it so this is Defining Nectars 
another blush that I've really been enjoying and it's a new launch from Clarins and Clarins is another brand I don't really venture into for makeup but um, I recently um, picked this up um, with a gift with purchase and it's a new launch it's called the illuminating cheek color in number two soft peach and it looks really similar to the Clinique um, Sculptinary Blusher um, in terms of colour and application wise but the Clinique one um, gives out more colour and it definitely gives you that I got blusher on um, sort of glow whereas the Clarence one is a little bit more subtle and I got it on my cheeks today and it just looks really um, subtle but really pretty as well so this is from Clarence Moving on to some lip products also from Clarins. Um, these are the Lip Comfort Oils and I got the shade in Raspberry and I also got the shade in Honey as well. And these were um, launched as part of this spring collection originally but they sold out really really quickly. And then the Raspberry one was a online exclusive and the Honey one was like a permanent um, one that you can get from shops and you can get online as well. And the UK website recently started restocking this one so I would have a link for you down below if you're interested in picking it up but um, they are just absolutely awesome and I tend to take the raspberry one um, with me in my bag and I use it um, as a lip balm throughout the day and it just works really really well and the honey one is just a really nice um, clear glass that I leave on a bedside table and I use it before bed and I just leave my lips feeling really moisturised and really soft as well so it comes in a huge um, oversized doe foot applicator and it's just really really easy to apply and I also done a whole blog post about these as well so I would have a link below um, for you to read up on it if you're interested but they are definitely really really great products to um, have as well so these from Clarins Moving on to my favourite, favourite lipstick of the month. Um, this is from MAC and it's called Brave. It's called, it's a satin finish and I've got it on my lips today. It's just that perfect nudie pink um, consistency and the shade is just perfect, it's spot on and it's just a really nice nudie um, pinky tone and I've got quite dark lips as well so a lot of like pinky lipsticks don't really show up on me um, especially the lighter ones just washes me out um, but this one is like that perfect nudie pink it's got that perfect pinky um, tone it's got that beigey in the tone and I just think it's a really really good um, all around lipstick to have and it's definitely a staple in my collection as well so this is from MAC the final thing I want to chat to you guys about this month is a new concealer I've been really enjoying. Now, I recently finished up my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which to be honest wasn't really my favourite. I found it really hard to blend and it's really cakey as well. So I was looking for a replacement and I came across this one from Tom Ford and it's the concealing pen and I got the shade in number 2, light to medium. It comes with a really nice um, sponge tip applicator and I just twist the pen and I get the um, product out and I just use it under my eyes and then just all over um, as a um, blemish um, concealer and it just works really really well too. It stays put all day and um, it's definitely one of the um, really great investments in um, high end products as well and I really like Tom Ford products. If you guys know me or if you've been watching my videos for a while then I am a huge Tom Ford fan and this concealer just doesn't disappoint either. So really really like this from Tom Ford. So that's it from me guys this month for my April favourites. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel for more videos as well. I will have my spring update video link for you down below if you're interested in watching that and definitely follow me on Twitter and my Instagram account which would be also be linked down below if you're interested and thank you very much for watching today and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!